Good morning guys and welcome back. I'm gonna do my makeup. It's so funny because I carry my makeup around in this beauty effect box and it literally, I feel like I'm like a an important person with a briefcase, but it's actually just full of makeup. Um, but yeah, that's what I use and it's got this really great light for doing your makeup. Um, but I'm gonna do it into this mirror, I think. So, what was I gonna say? Tomorrow, I think there is an announcement about which countries we are allowed to travel to, which would be so great if that is the situation, because um, I think it's tomorrow. I keep reading about it, I keep checking it like every day, trying to find out what day the announcement is happening. Um, but people have said it is potentially Friday. So fingers crossed, because Cameron only gets a couple of weeks off um which is pretty soon and that's the only time he gets off for the whole year so we really want to go away um as we haven't together since last summer so yeah um we really wanted to go to turkey but i don't know if that's gonna be possible because turkey's currently in lockdown um, so yeah, I'm just waiting to see, like we could go to Portugal, we went there last summer, but I keep checking the weather and it's like 20 degrees there, so I'm like, do I really, like, is there any point going to, that plane's so loud, is there any point going to Portugal when it's not even that hot? But I would like to, yeah, go away. So, I mean, I'm just going to wait and see, we haven't booked anything yet, if we do book it's going to be super last minute, and... I don't know just hope we can go somewhere and just get some sunshine um so we shall see can't can't change it because that's the way it is so i have been using this mascara which is from charlotte tilbury also please can someone let me know does charlotte tilbury test on animals because I've always known that they don't. I put up a reel a few weeks ago, like a makeup one, and everyone was like, Charlotte Tilbury tests on animals. I was like, does, I swear they don't, because I swear she had this whole thing about like, she could have sold in China, she decided not to, and everyone was like, that's amazing, because you're not testing on animals, you're not like, just going for the money. I was like, no, no, she does sell in China, she does test on animals, so if that is the case, then I'm not gonna be able to wear Charlotte Tilbury anymore, which is so sad, because I love Charlotte Tilbury makeup. So yeah, can someone let me know if they know what the situation is with that, but I have been using Charlotte Tilbury push up lashes but I have to say I do prefer the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara this is just it's just the best mascara ever they've sent me a new one which is really really kind um but I've used this for years I, I did try the Charlotte Tilbury one out and I I have to, to say I prefer this one it's just so good Charlotte Tilbury one was good but this one is just the best in my opinion I love it. Um, I'm not gonna put on like loads of makeup today, just like a little bit. I'm going out for lunch with Olivia, which will be really, really nice. Um, we haven't actually been to a restaurant together yet. Oh, no, no, we have, that's a lie. We went to Aragon. Um, but we're gonna go for a nice little lunch at a place called Stanley's in Chelsea, which has been so hard to get a booking for. I just think it looks really pretty, like the setting, but yeah, I don't know if there's gonna be a lot for me to eat. So I wanted to say that it might be too much information, but I had the worst, like, felt like period pains, but I wasn't on my period. And I was just like, this fucking hurts and it feels like period pains, but I wasn't on my period. And I had it in my lower back as well. And I was like, what is going on? I told my mum, she was literally like, oh my God, you're pregnant. And I was like, I'm, I'm definitely not pregnant. She's like, you are, that's what it is. Or you've got like, she was saying all these things, like worst case, she's like Google, like, telling me all the worst case scenarios. And I was like, hey, let's not panic. So I went to the pharmacy, my bio pregnancy test, I've got really bad like period pains, but I'm not on my period. And he was like, when did you last have your period? And I said, two weeks ago. And he's like, you're hundred percent not pregnant. I loved his confidence in that. I was literally like, oh, thank God, thank God. Um, but he was like, yeah, you're absolutely not pregnant. But how did he know that? Cause my period was two weeks before. He was like, you're not pregnant. There's no way. I want to know more about my cycle. like. I feel like as a woman, I don't know anything about it. I don't know the days I could get pregnant. I don't even know like when you're fertile, when you're not, like the whole cycle. I feel like we should be taught this at school or 
I don't know, I just feel like we should know more about it. Like, it's a big part of our body. Like, I didn't even know why we got period pains. Anyway, moral, not moral of the story, but end of the story was, then I got my period. Then I had the worst period pains that I've ever had. I was literally in bed, I had a hot water bottle. I was like, oh, Cameron, stay away from me. Like, I'm gonna wear my granny pajamas. Hot water bottle felt fucking awful. And he was like, why do you even get period pains? And I was like, I actually know. So I googled it and it was found out the answer but like that's something I should know I've had my period since I was 12 years old how do I not know what period pains are anyway I want to start knowing more about my cycle I've started using natural cycles which I think is going to help me like figure out my cycle like when I'm fertile when my period's like I don't know things like that I'm lucky because I came off the pill at the end of last year and like my periods happened like I get them the same time every month and it's been very like steady so that's that's a good thing but yeah I don't know why I had this really bad pain, like period pain feeling for a whole week before my period actually came. And then when my period came, I had such bad period pains, like worse than normal. I, I don't know what that was about. Um, this um, is from Trini London, the lip balm. I'm gonna show you my outfit. I'm gonna wear this outfit to lunch but this is just my outfit for the morning i'm gonna do a few errands this morning before we go for lunch and i will show you that now i'm just gonna tidy away my makeup station just taking my jumper off so that you can see the outfit um so this is from a brand called i think it's pronounced adanola i'm not 100 sure um taking my case off my phone looks quite strange um, but yeah, I think it's called Adanola. So they sent me this outfit, which I really like. Like the material is very sort of lycra feeling. So it's really nice. Um, and they sent me some socks as well. Um, but yeah, I would probably get a bigger size next time in the top. I think I got a small. It's just a bit, you know, when you've got that like sort of this part, which is not the most flattering. Um, so yeah, I'd probably size up in the top, but the leggings fit really well. I'm ready to go for our lunch. I'm literally starving, um, which is potentially quite worrying. It has like limited vegan options. Um, also, can we talk about the fact that I am dressed for winter and it is May, it's very sad. Like I cannot wait for restaurants to open indoors because it's actually not that enjoyable when you're sitting outside freezing. Like we should be grateful, but it's so cold today. I'm freezing and I'm inside. So I'm, and I'm, I'm so bored of wearing coats. I want to wear like fun, summery, cute outfits. Um, but I am excited because I can have a first outing for my new 365 bag that is launching very, very soon. So I'll show you that. This is the new 365 bag that's launching soon. Um, I'm going to wear the black one. It comes in a really cute green colour as well, which I'll show you. Um, excuse this room. This is like my sort of storage room. Um, and I've recently done these mystery boxes on Instagram, which I do sort of every couple of months. And I've just packed them all this morning. So this is the sort of madness of the room. I need to take these all to the post office now. My bag collection. I really need to have like a good organisation and just like sort this room out it's stressing me out so this is the green oh my god I've got marker pen on my hands from writing all the addresses on the boxes um this is the green bag which i love i just want to be able to wear this color but i just don't think it goes with my wintry outfit today um but yeah it's very cute and we are launching these on 365 soon for those of you that don't know 365 is my brand um which is a collection of vegan leather accessories and stationery. I've got to say I'm not going to put on much more makeup um, because I'm getting a facial after lunch. So, yeah. I mean, is that even a reason? I just can't really be bothered, to be fair. Um, but yeah, I will film some of our lunch and wish me luck on the vegan options. <laughs> So I'm just at Elanique, about to get my hydrofacial. Um, we're gonna start with, what are we starting with? Lymphatic. Lymphatic. And this is good for? Detoxifying. Detoxifying the skin. I haven't had anything, any facial since before the last lockdown. When did I last come see you? Uh, sometime in December. Yeah, December. So it's been a good 
four or five months, so my skin needs a good clean. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get on with that now. Okay, so next stage we are doing extraction. Get rid of all the blackheads, all the dirt. Hi guys, so it is Friday, the sun is shining. I've just had my brows done. That's why they're looking quite dark um, by Suman. She's literally the best of the best. I just harass her until she like gives me a date because she's always so fully booked. Um, but yeah, I just did a little thread and tint, um, but they will get less dark as the day goes on. Um, oh, I'm out of breath. So now I've just raced back home to get changed um, because I'm now going to Michael Van Clark in Marlebone. I want it to be like a blondy brown. Like I do like the colour of it right now. Um, sort of the like mix but I just want it to be a little bit lighter but not I'm not doing highlights I'm doing like a balayage some sort of like blonde around the front I think will be really nice I'm gonna take some heels with me because I'm going out for dinner with some of my girlfriends after and I'm gonna go straight from Michael Van Clark to dinner because just traffic in London it's just easier rather than coming back so yeah I'll show you my outfit but I'm gonna swap my trainers for some here also gonna take my laptop with me and do some work I'm really behind on like emails and just bits like that um so I'm gonna do that while I'm in the hairdressers and I way prefer replying to emails on my laptop rather than on my phone I don't know I just hate reading an email on my phone it really stresses me out so yeah that's what I'm gonna do this afternoon while at the salon and yeah I will quickly show you my outfit before I head out so I'm wearing this new jacket that I got um from Nasty Girl which is super cute I've just paired it with this brown body um I think this is from Shein and then jeans are from Miss Selfridge currently got trainers on I'm gonna have my hair looking nice I think I'm just gonna get it blow dried straight um can't wait actually to have a nice little pamper and yeah i will check in with you guys once i'm at the salon thought i'd quickly show you before i leave i'm just having a little snack because i'm so hungry i'm having a very random god the light is shocking this way a very random snack i'll show you be snacking on these which i got in whole foods which are deliciously ella's crackers really yummy um and i'm having them with some Olive tapenade, so random, but I found it in the fridge and I didn't have any hummus, which I probably would have rather had it with. I'm also going to have this plant based chocolate protein bar from Misfits, which is so good. This is my favourite flavour, the orange one. It literally tastes like a Terry's chocolate orange. Leaving Michael Van Clark now, they did such a nice job. Um, just got it a bit blonder around the front. I didn't get it cut, but they said I should next time. But yeah, I'm on my way to dinner now. It's gonna be my first drink of the week as well. So I'm quite impressed with myself. Yeah, gonna have some wine with the girls. <laughs> Today has been manic. I was meant to do a Paola's body bar class this morning and didn't happen, did not happen. Mm, yeah, I mean, I wasn't even hungover. I had two drinks last night. Yeah, I had a cocktail and a glass of red wine. Wasn't hungover or anything. It was just, I woke up, it was pissing of rain and my friend I was meant to be going with, um, Sophie cancelled and I was like, oh, yeah, I can't bothered. I've also spent the whole day because the um, country like red list and all of that got announced yesterday. So we were really hoping to go to Turkey and that's been put on the red list. So that all kind of fell apart and then I was like right we need to book something else so we are now going to Portugal which is really exciting and I'm so happy that we have managed to sort something but it just went into like a frenzy I haven't actually even booked our flight yet because I'm trying to use a voucher code with BA and they every time I call them they hang up on me and the hotel we're trying to book is now like fully booked so it's all been quite stressful um but we'll get there, we'll get there in the end. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a little delivery that I received today, um, very cute, and I may actually try them on. It's from a brand called Anne Louise Boutique, and I just love the way it's arrived in this pretty box. I can't even remember what I got, because I kind of chose them quite a while ago. Um, but it looks like I got 
this dress and then i think this is also another dress First one which is so pretty i love this um it's got a nice lining as well so it's not see-through and i love this little cutout detail so i'm going to be packing this for portugal i don't think it's even that hot there love second one again with the cutout detail is so pretty um i feel like sorry excuse the mess in the background i feel like this would be really nice at like a wedding or something um i have actually well fingers crossed got three weddings this summer but i'm a bridesmaid for all of them so i won't be choosing an outfit for any of them um but yeah this is stunning love I'll try and show you the full So I think I'm going to end this video here. Um, if you've got this far, thank you so much. And thank you to everyone that's like sent me little messages being like, when are you doing your next YouTube video? Even though it sounds so small, it like really encourages me to keep doing it. And yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying them and lots of love and I'll see you in the next one.